Hello guys, just want to show you flash for Adventure 5M Pro printer. Like you see, it's fully enclosed. Not only that, but this printer has filters inside. Check this out. When you print in a base, use this one. Like now I'm using uh, Pella, Silk Pella, so I'm using this one. Because I'm using filament from Yosu, it's a very nice filament, but I don't know exactly if it's toxic or not. So I decided to turn on this filter. Of course, you can change many settings on the fly. Like you see, you can uh, change your zeta, speed, this uh, side cool, cooling uh, fan speed and uh, nozzle cooling or filament cooling speed. So it's, it's uh, really nice. This printer has uh, cloud. Two clouds actually, so you can easily use them for online printing. It's a flash cloud and polar cloud. I'm using uh, flash print 5 slicer. I love this slicer. It's so simple and complete print. It takes now 3 hours 10 minutes. It's 200 uh, millimeters tall. So it's quite a big model. It's printing uh, not so fast, not so slow. But if it shows 3 hours 10 minutes, so it's, it's realistic printing time. So that's why I really love this slicer. One more thing I want to show you that not all printers have this. Check this out, this Zeta axis. They really have a duty. So it's no vibration at all. Even if you print in super fast speeds. I'm printing this in 200 uh, millimeter speed. It's nozzle printing speed, and in uh, movement speed, it's uh, 550. Because it's uh, silk pella, it must cool down slowly, not like fast printing uh, pella or something. Check this out, this quality. It's just just amazing. I think because it's fully enclosed and now I switch it on filters and it's same temperature inside so you filament don't have degradation or something so it's super nice super nice. I really love this uh, printer I very very recommend I'm going to add links all links below so you can check by yourself. I pre-made uh, profile for the flash print 5 and silk pillar so you can try. It works really really well. I made that uh, cooling fan it's a uh, switch on on second layer. Side fan it's uh, switching on on fourth layer or something. Printing speed it's about 200 millimeters per second. Movement speed it's about 550. And uh, shells or walls it's about 70. And of course I switch it on zeta hopping from body to the legs, from legs to the body, because it's quite a uh, big model. And I printing uh, not super slowly. And not super fast and I like to switch on that Zeta hopping so silk PLA it uh, likes to shrink and uh, now I minimize the risk that my print will be damaged by the nozzle like I told before you can find all files you need in the video description
You can monitor your prints uh, by using uh, flash print slicer. Go to the print, connect. Click here. Switch on camera and voila. Of course, I switch it on function on my printer that I uh, make some time lapse automatically that I love. So you can monitor, not only monitor your prints, but uh, check out if it's something wrong with the prints or you get damaged your prints or it's, uh, yeah, it goes wrong. So it's a really nice function. This printer it's not uh, super silent and definitely not the loudest one. If you compare to the K1, Creality K1 and Bamboo Lab printers, it's a real silent printer. So definitely you can use this printer at home. Of course, always you can uh, switch off your side cooling fan and uh, filters that you have inside. Then you get extremely quiet printer. Of course, if you want to do that, it depends on what kind of filament you use. Print time, three hours, five minutes. Little bit less than uh, slicer shows. And this printer came with flexible plate. It's uh, two sides. I pre-made uh, my own. Just uh, pet, simple pet sheet that I glue it with uh, double-sided tape. Check this out. Check this. Yes, it's 0 0.2 layer height and it's almost no visible lines. And the print speed, it's amazing. 200 millimeters. It's just unbelievable quality. Very clean desinch. It's uh, no cables, no nothing. It's uh, very clean desinch. I pre-made a side spool holder because I want to save some space. I keep this printer at home, not in my workshop. And I show you how you can change filament. You go to the settings, change filament, temperature it's rise, just attach your filament to this tube and that's it. That's how you change a filament. Just wait until it's uh, ready. Yeah, you see, now a new filament is coming. I changed filament because I printed Javerly uh, for my uh, cat. That's it guys. That is my short video about uh, this printer that I really really like. And uh, I hope uh, you like this file. It's uh, for free. So you no know, need to go to museum. You have your own cat at home now. Subscribe, enjoy, and uh, more videos coming soon.